Hello everyone, it's me and Lucian here today and we're going to be showing you three top tips how to quickly improve your tennis. We're going to be touching on the serve, um, the forehand, how to generate a bit more power and how to change your grip. We're going to be doing all of this with the Dunlop SX series rackets. This is going to be especially helpful on the forehand and the serve because it can generate a lot more spin with a, a greater sweet spot um, which will allow you to easily generate a lot of control but also gain a lot of power and spin. The link to all of the specifications of this racket and the stuff that it's good at will be in the description. Make sure to go check that out if you're interested. But without further ado, let's go on to the video. I think we're going to start with some serves. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we've got three top tips on how to improve your serve. Okay, so up first we've got rhythm on the serve, which is super important. This is basically how fast your racket head swings through your motion, and this could affect um, the contact point of the ball as well as um, the pop ball path. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to start in a resting position and slowly build the pace up and then on the follow through it should be a maximum pace and I'll show you what um, that looks like now. So I bounce the ball two or three times and have a resting period then slowly build the pace up before snapping and exploding on the, on the contact point. Resting. Then you finish. We'll do a kick serve as well, it's the same principle. Just the ball toss is a bit different on this one. Oh. Okay, so number two is being able to come down on the ball from an elevated position, so reaching up to, uh, up onto contact, which is super important, um, allowing you to snap on the ball or, or, or slice, which is allowing you to put a lot more power on your serve um, quite easily and effectively. So how I like to do this is I like to thrust my um, hip forwards and then reach up to the ball, um, try to get as high off the ground as possible, which is also important by loading my legs. I'll just show you what that looks like. So I'll stop away from one another and I'll bring them in, load and get up over the ball and, and reach up and then hit, hit the serve. So there we go, it also allows you to get more accuracy on the serve because you're going to make less mistakes into the net. Lastly, it's super important as well as your serve to practice your first shot off the serve because that will allow you to work out tactics depending on where your opponent returns. So in this situation, I'm going to be serving out wide and expecting a shorter backhand return um, into my forehand side and then work on moving the ball cross and away from them. So I'm going to be th serving three in Lucian is going to feed me three balls, which I'm going to try and um, hit cross. And I'll show you what you mean. This is a good drill you can also do when you practice your serve. Oh. Yeah. So tip number two, if you're ever at a tournament or at training and you need to do a new grip, uh, I'm going to show you how to do a new grip now. So what we're going to be using is the Dunlop U Sweat Ultra Absorbent Overgrip. These are my favourite from, from Dunlop. So take your grip out and get a grip first of all. Okay, so now that you've got your grip, um, oh God, there will be a end which has a sl the slim side basically, uh, and on one of the slim sides there'll be a little piece of paper, and under that there'll be a sticky bit where you start your grip, and that's what you put onto the racket to make it all stick together and not fall off. So we're going to start at uh, the bottom of your grip 
and there are lines. I like to start it at the start of the first line. So it's right at the bottom. And what you're gonna do is just wrap, wrap it round the grip. And as soon as it's overlapped, you want to go a tiny bit more up. Okay, so what you want to do once you've done your start is just follow the loop until you're right at the top, as shown now. Okay, so as you can see now, uh, I'm at the top and I have some extra grip. So what you want to do is you want to rip that bit of grip off and then use the extra to just go a bit more up. Let me redo this bit. If you ever feel like you've messed up or you feel like you want to redo it, uh, just unravel it and then re-ravel it bit more off. There we go. So once you've got that done, what you want to do is get your sticky bit, as shown here. So what you want to do is you want to take the white pieces off. So you've only got the sticky side to attach to your grip. There we go. And then you carefully get the other side. Okay, so then you want to carefully put this at the top of your grip and go right the way around at the top. Oh, there's a wasp. So there you have it. The Dunlop Racket also has this bit to keep uh, the grip there as well. So let's put that over there. Extra support. Okay, so now you've got a perfect grip like as shown. So let's try and use it in the next tip, which is forehands. The first tip on the forehand is loading your legs. Uh, this means that you'll get more momentum going through the shot and a bit more pace, and hopefully you'll be more consistent as well. So as you saw, I tried to load my legs and it gave me a lot more power. So that's one really good tip that you can use. The second tip, like Felix said on his serve, you want to have a relaxed wrist and you want to go from slow to fast on the take back. So on the take back, you want to go from slow and then with the follow through, you want to go really fast. So if he's gonna feed me two balls, so let's see if I can do that. So I want to go slow and then fast. I want to go slow and fast. Last one, I want to go slow and fast. So as you can see, you want to go really quick through the ball so that you get the right amount of power and spin uh, whilst you hit the ball. The third and final tip for the forehand is that you want to take your racket back early, which means you have more consistent timing on the ball and you hopefully will always hit it at waist height, which is the best height uh, to hit the ball at. And also you won't hit the ball late, you always uh, improve your timing. So I'm gonna show that now. So I'm taking the racket back early and hitting, taking the just making sure I'm taking it back as early as possible so that I'm ready for the ball. All right, so that was it for the three tips today. Make sure you stay tuned for next week where me and Lucian are going to be going head to head in a tie break tens match. The first one um, since we went into lockdown ages ago. 
with the Dunlop SX series racket. So I'm super excited. And also, if you don't want to miss it or get notifications for it, make sure you subscribe and turn the bell notification on um, so you don't miss that notification. And also, make sure you smash a like if you enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this in the future. We hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Thank you.